Cheers. Cheers. We're in the atrium of Morella Discovery 2. We looked at the reviews of the drinks before we came on, on TripAdvisor. Some of the reviews said that the wine was undrinkable, the cocktails were shocking, <laughs> the lager was warm, there was no no alcohol beer, and a few other concerns. So, in this video, we're going to put all of those claims to the test and let you know our conclusions. And we'll also discuss whether it's worth getting the premium drinks package, which is an extra £180 per person for the fortnight. Hopefully you'll find this useful. Yeah. Stay tuned. Cheers. Cheers. So our plan now is to work through the entire cocktail list of all-inclusive cocktails. We're doing this for you, remember. Yeah. We're, we're trying them out under sufferance. I don't even like alcohol. <laughs> I never drink. And I drink beer, not cocktails. <laughs> what the, the, the things we put ourselves through for you people. <laughs> it's only because we love you. And if by magic they've appeared, ta-da! It's just an illusion. Yeah. And I've had an electric blue to go with the suit. So if I spill it, which I'm likely to do, it shouldn't show up too much. So what's in yours then? Um, so there's vodka, blue curacao, um, sour mix and lemonade combined to make a sweet and citrus drink is what it says on the menu. So let's see if that's the case. Mm. Tastes like pop. Does it? Doesn't taste particularly strong. Mm. Well, but I'm... it's nice and refreshing. Would you have that again? I probably can't say until I've I've had all the all cocktails. Of them. Okay, okay. So I'm not gonna. I'm, it's too early to commit. It's too okay. early to commit. It's all right. It's refreshing. Um, it doesn't it's taste not of it's, it's not repulsive. So okay. in that respect, yes, I probably would have it again. But would it be my first choice? I okay. don't know. Well, mine is an illusion, and it's melon liqueur, vodka, triple sec, and pineapple juice with a sweet and sour mix. Okay, I'm going to give it a go. Um, there's a little piece of something floating in it. I don't, I'm not quite sure what that is. Pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah. Isn't that the outside of a pineapple? Oh, it's the outside of a pineapple. Why would you put an outside of a pineapple in a cocktail? I can't eat that, can I? Well, you can eat the anyway, pointy end of it. I'm now going to try it. Mm -hmm. That's nicer than I thought it would be. You can really taste the melon. That's the flavour that is very overpowering in this drink. Mm. Mm. And it's not leaving you melancholy. <laughs> <laughs> I can always tell if a cocktail's a bad cocktail, yeah. if it just tastes like cheap, horrible alcohol. And this is probably cheap, horrible alcohol, but just with lots of melon liqueur in it, I don't know. You don't know, but you're casting these aspersions willy-nilly onto a Mirella to his cocktails. See, he's only had a sip of that blue electric and he, he's already slurring his words. I'm not under the affluence of alcohol at all. I'll have you know. It's, it's all right. It's better than I expected. I would, would I have it again? I don't think so, but it's all right. Right, prove. there's my opinion. I will provide you with the breath of of speth to prove mm -hmm. that I am as jabber as a sudge. I've just got to drink. It's, they just give you a lot, don't they, to drink? <laughs> it is all inclusive. <laughs> they just give you a lot to drink. Lisa doesn't drink enough, and I'm not talking about alcohol, I'm talking about water. She doesn't know when she's thirsty. No, I, I never just, feel thirsty, ever. She's just weird. I, I have think... to make myself drink, and I sweat terribly. I think my she's hands a witch. Sweat. I, I could be a superhero with the power to uh, flood. Dampen and towels. Damp <laughs> <laughs> it's not exactly a superpower. <laughs> People who know me know this this skill I have of making my hands sweat. <laughs> You're lost for words now. And I love her despite all this. <laughs> She's probably a witch and we should burn her. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have my cocktail first. Okay, we'll finish the cocktails first. Then we'll burn Lisa. <laughs> we'll see you later for the next round. Hello, and here I am with my Raspberry Collins 
Now this is gin, raspberry, mixed with lemon and sugar and topped with soda. But let's have a taste and see what it's like. Yeah, you can taste the gin in this. I can't taste much else actually other than the gin. I can't taste any raspberry. I think perhaps it's been diluted too much with it's soda water. Yeah, the raspberry may have sunk to the bottom. I haven't got a mixing stick or a straw either. It's a little disappointing. So, I've got a Long Island iced tea. The reason I like these is because they are, they've got everything thrown in them. There is vodka, there's gin, there's white rum, there's tequila, there's orange liqueur, lemon juice, sugar, mixed with cola. It's not the strongest one I've had. I do quite like that it sort of hits you with a, an alcoholic tang. It's a little bit diluted. Not the best Long Island iced tea that I've had, but perfectly palatable and reasonably drinkable. I'll give it a yeah, slight thumbs up. So we're cocktail tasting again. I've got tonight the sangria. Boring. Oh. Well, somebody's got to taste it. Yeah, we, we, we're doing two at a time and we have a discussion who's going to taste which one. Um, so I said, I'll do the sangria. It's red wine, cherry liqueur, and cherries are my favourite fruit, fruit. And I do like a cherry liqueur, so that's why I opted for this one. And lemonade. I think that's very drinkable. I suspect that the red wine isn't the best red wine, remember? These are all included in the price of our cruise, so I'm not expecting them to be the best cocktails I've ever tasted. I just want them to be drinkable, really. Mm. Um, and, and actually, this is all right. It's very refreshing. I'm just going to see if I can taste a cherry, though. Yeah, I think there's very little precision goes into the making of them from what I've seen. Oh, really? Yeah. So you might, you might have one which is fine one day and, and then it depends who mm, makes it. What have you got then, Giles? I've had a Mai Tai, which is apparently a taste of the tropics, light rum, dark rum and triple sec combined with almond syrup, lime juice, pineapple juice and grenadine. So it's quite a bit gone into, uh, into this one. So. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of rum. See. But I do like almonds and pineapple. It's one of those, it's probably a little bit like a little bit cough mixture again. Oh, is it? Mm, let's let's, try that let's one. swap then and let's see which one. Oh no, I still prefer mine to yours though. Oh, don't you like that? Oh god, she's pulling the right face. You just no. the face he pulls mm. then. Really, don't you like that one? No, that's. Yeah, I think the red wine's like. The Mai Tai's a thumbs down for me. So you get a thumbs down, you get definitely a thumbs down on this one. Definitely a thumbs down from me on that one. What's the sangria do for you? This is drinkable. And so is that one, really. I think I'm easily pleased. <laughs> you must be. You're married to me. <laughs> We're now in the theatre. The good thing on uh, Morella Discovery 2 is that you can bring drinks into the theatre. And there are little uh, little drink rests in the, in the seats. So now we're on to, well I've got a Rocking Rita, which is tequila and orange liqueur with a lime base. Mm. Um, it's got a, is it, can I tell you, salted or? Mm, yeah, a salted rim on the gra glass. It looks very nice actually, that does. You taste. Nicely presented, isn't it? Yeah. There's a nice sharp sharpness to that, which is uh, very pleasant. That's more my thing. I was describing a couple of them like cough syrup, and I was trying to think, why am I saying that? And I think the reason is because it's a sweetness trying to disguise something that's quite unpleasant underneath, which is like yes. cough medicine. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. But, but this is uh, that's this, nice. This is nice. Yeah, oh, rocking okay. Rita. And so I, I rocking wouldn't. Rocking Rita. Then I wouldn't have gone for no, that I on have the list. That. On, let I me think you should that. try it, but beware of the salt on the outside. Oh, I quite like salt. Mm, yeah. Actually, it really works with the salt. Mm. That's really nice. Rocking Rita. Thumbs up. All I can taste, though, is salt. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got um, a banana daiquiri. 
which is white rum with banana in and it's iced. So let's have a taste. That's just like a banana milkshake. And is that good? A salty banana milkshake <laughs> because I've still got the salt <laughs> off his cocktail. Uh, <laughs> Professional. Oh, this is really nice. Gosh, I wish I'd have had this on day one. Do you know, we've only got three days left of our cruise. I should have discovered this on day one. I'd have been drinking them all week. Right. Instead of soda water. I've been drinking soda water. Try a banana daiquiri. You banana know, daiquiri first. Day one. Day Soon one. On get ship. on it. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> And a mm. rocking Rita. Mm. We've got a couple of hits here, haven't we? De these two are the best so far, I think, off the... Um... Oh, I think the Long Island iced tea for me might might still top it. But anyway. Okay, this is my favourite. Cheers. Cheers. So we did say we were going to compare the Singapore slings to Raffles Hotel. Mm. So they're free. Giles doesn't think they're free because he thinks we've paid for the we've cruise. We've already paid for it. But, you know, they are free. We're not paying they anything for They are included. For them. They're, they're included not free. included in the cost of our holiday. Nothing is free in this life. But let's taste them. Let's taste them. So, to me, they don't taste as citrusy as the ones in uh, Raffles. I can taste almond flavour in them. But they taste stronger from an alcohol yeah, content. Definitely alcoholically they taste mm. stronger. But I think the one in Raffles was a lot easier to drink than oh, this one. Oh, definitely. The one in Raffles I drank in, in two minutes. I could have drunk a lot of those. Whereas I'm not so sure I could drink many of these. But I think we prefer the ones at Raffles. However, if you watch the Doddles video, mm. they prefer the Singapore slings on Virgin. Perhaps we should try a Virgin Voyager cruise next time. Perhaps we should. How much yeah. is that going to cost me? Oh, I don't know. So on our continuing odyssey into the all-included cocktails, we are now on to pina coladas. And we've both had a classic pina colada. Yeah. Please, go what, for what, it. What's in a pina colada? There I is remember. pineapple, there is coconut mm. cream, and there is rum. It reminds me of um, a Malibu from the 80s. Oh, I bet that <laughs> takes you back to a few seedy nights. It does, it's like Malibu with ice. It's around the back of Rackham's in Birmingham. <laughs> I never went behind the back of Rackham's in Birmingham. Back of a skip in Wensbury? It's probably more like it. It's refreshing, it's cold, it's fruity. It doesn't feel like you're drinking alcohol at all. Mm. I suspect it's not very strong. I, yeah, I'm not so sure. Really? Yeah, I think it's just deceptive. You think it's deceptive? I mean, mm, I could easily drink that really quickly. This would be nice to have during the day when it's sunny. Yeah, yeah, if you're on the, the pool it, deck. It's a thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for me as well. So here we are, we're in the atrium, and these are the final two cocktails that we are reviewing. I have got a Black Russian, and that is vodka, coffee liqueur, and cola. And I've got a Cosmopolitan, and that is vodka, triple sec, lime, and cranberry juice. Mmm, sounds nice. Right, let's try the Black Russian. It's very sweet. The cola's flat, actually, so that, that doesn't particularly help with the taste. The taste is fine, very sweet, but I wouldn't have another one of them. I think it's the flatness of the cola. It isn't, isn't fantastic, so, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a thumbs down from me. Um. That's not looking good. It reminds me of cough mixture. It's that feeling, you know, when it hits the back of your throat, it's a bit rough. I imagine it's made from alcohol that perhaps, you know, isn't a great brand. And so it's that peach stripper sort of taste to it. Anyway, that's all of the all-inclusive cocktails that we've now tried. So we've got to decide which is our favourite one. Yeah. Which do you think is going to be our favourite? Make your guess now. So, the verdicts are in. 
and my favourite was the Rockin' Rita. That was a tequila and lime based cocktail um, which had got a salty rim. And I love a salty rim. <laughs> so that was that that was nice because it was sort of one of the more bitter sharp cocktails. The tequila and the salts worked well together in that cocktail, yeah. didn't they? There's something about tequila, lime and salt yeah. which is which just works. Yeah, yeah. It's it is an absolute classic. So yeah. for me it was the uh, the rocking Rita is the double thumbs up for the uh, all inclusive cocktails. I'm being a bit girly and saying the banana daiquiri was my favourite. Um, I don't normally like icy cold drinks, but I love a banana. <laughs> I really do. Um, and so, yeah, anything banana flavoured, that's going to be up there for me. A banana's up there for you, is it? It is. It is. Um, so I would drink those now for the rest of my holiday. I thought you were going to say the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we should try perhaps one of the paid for cocktails? Oh yes, because you know there, there are quite a few of the premium cocktails that I think, oh that sounds lovely, I'd like to try that. So I would like to try one, will you let me try one? How much are they? I think they're £3.95. <laughs> All right, I'll spend £3.95 on you. You're worth it, probably. Thank you. So we've come up to bar 11. Lisa's looked at the premium cocktails in here and there weren't any that she fancied. So I have gone for a chocolate ember, uh, which is a Smirnoff vodka, creme de cacao, uh, frangelico, smoked cream and dark chocolate, which sounds more like a dessert, but uh, I'm going to give that a go, and Lisa's just having a kiwi lemonade. Yeah, in different bars, there are different cocktail menus. The premium cocktails that I wanted to um, taste are all in the atrium, but Giles brought me to bar 11, where they haven't got any cocktails that I want to try, but they've got the ones that he wants to try. So, <laughs> later, I am going to try and get down to the atrium. But until then, I'll be satisfied with the kiwi lemonade. Time to smell a little bit of smoke. This is a £3.95 supplement for the premium cocktails if you're not on the all-inclusive premium menu. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you can taste you can taste the smoke and the cream and the chocolate, and it's fluffy and foamy and frothy. I think there's other cocktails on the all-inclusive menu, not the premium menu, that I'd probably have over and above this. Do you want to try it, Lise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have selected this as a cocktail, but I'm happy to try Giles's. Um, it's it's the smell that puts me off. All of the um, most of the cocktails in Bar 11 are smoky cocktails or gin infused with fruit cocktails. And um, my favourite cocktail is a mudslide. So, uh, you know, because they didn't do that here, I wasn't going to have one. So let's mm, smell smoky. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry, I'm so glad I didn't have that. I much prefer all of the cocktails that are included in the normal package to that. I would not thank you for that. It's horrible. Ugh, I don't need Very sweet. It's nice, but I don't think I'd order it again. Not for £3.95. I'm a real tight person, aren't I? <laughs> I just have the all-inclusive in all cocktails, they're just as good. <laughs> so we're here in a booth in the Snack Shack. You might hear in the background there's afternoon trivia going on, but we thought, well, that'd be a perfect location to do our wine review. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, we won't do afternoon trivia today, we'll just... Sit and drink sit, wine. Sit and drink wine, why not? <laughs> so the idea is, this is all the included uh, wines. So we've got Prosecco, we've got red wine, we've got white wine, and we've got rosé. The claim was, 
that the wine was undrinkable. Mm. That sounds like a challenge to yeah. me. But we'll try them all and we'll see which is our favourite. Yeah. Shall we start with the Prosecco? Start that end. Okay. Um, if I was at home, my wine of choice would probably be Prosecco and red wine. That's not in the same glass. No, not in the same. Oh, no, actually, red wine and Prosecco together in the same glass might be quite nice. Mm. Yeah, I might try that, actually. <laughs> anyway, back to what we're doing. Uh-huh. For me, I think that is nice. Um, I bought Prosecco like that at home. It's drinkable, it's fizzy, it's cold, yeah. it's got a nice taste to it. it I could drink, yeah. easily drink that. It's not unpleasant, is it? No, not at all. No, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So that is drinkable. Drinkable. Okay, now the red wine. This was one that was served to us just at, um, at dinner. So this came out of a bottle. I've seen some of it poured out of carafes. So it might be that it, there are different red wines, but this is just the standard house one. Now, that might be okay if you're eating a meal, but drinking it on its own, I think that's a bit rough. If, if I had that bottle of wine at home, I'd be thinking, no, I'm not buying that again. Yeah, there's a little bit of a bitterness to mm. it. It's not the most pleasant, but it's certainly not undrinkable. Yeah, it's drinkable. It's just not got that smoothness to finish it off. It's not got much body either. No. It's it's not a full-bodied wine. It does taste like a cheap red wine. Yeah, cheap, yeah. But yeah. again, drinkable. Yeah, it's drinkable. White okay, wine. white wine. Again, it's served cold. Now the white wine and the rosé were both from the pools in the buffet. Now, to me, that is totally tasteless. Ooh. Yeah, but it's so it's so light. It's it's sort of beyond beyond taste. It's yeah, that light. It is, but but you can drink it. You don't taste it and think, oh my god, yeah. that's awful. Right, last of all, then the rosé. Again, with food, that would be fine, perfectly drinkable. Without food, mm, there's a little bit of roughness to the edge of it. Mm. it it's all right, it's drinkable. So I think, in conclusion, are we going to say that they're all drinkable? They, they are all drinkable. I'm going to put them in order of my preference. That's going first. That's going second. That's going third, and that's going fourth for me. So Prosecco, red wine, white wine, rosé. Yeah, I think I'd agree. I, I think these are interchangeable. There's not much between those two. But one thing to mention is that these two came from the dining room. That definitely came from a bottle. These might be coming from some big wine barrels somewhere within the buffet. So yeah. we have had white wine with a meal, which was better than that. Yes. Um, so just a, a word of caution, it seems to be the drinks that you will get in, in the dining room yeah. are better than the wines that you will get in, in the, the buffet. buffet. definitely. Is that an interesting and fascinating conclusion to our wine tasting? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for watching The Wine Review <laughs> with me, Jilly Goulden, and Oz Clark. <laughs> so some of the reviews of um, Morella Discovery 2 said it took a long time to get served at the bars. We haven't really experienced that and we're towards the end of our cruise now. Just in the atrium, it's quarter past 12 in the afternoon and it took five minutes to get served. And of an evening, we haven't had any issues at all, have we? No, it's been, uh, it's been perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. We're, we're actually trying the non-alcoholic cocktails for you to let you know what we think of those. And these are, we've decided, our favourite mocktails. Yeah. So mine is a Junior Sea Breeze, which is cranberry juice and grapefruit juice. Actually, I prefer the Bora Bora, and that really surprised me when I looked at the ingredients. There's pineapple, which I like, grenadine, and ginger ale. It's not as sour as Giles, but it's not too sweet either. That's our recommendations 
for the non-alcoholic cocktails. Cheers. Bora Bora Brew, Junior Sea Breeze. So that's pretty much it. We've explored all of the alcoholic drinks and most of the mocktails on board and drawn our conclusions <laughs> about the cocktails. But some of the, the allegations that were thrown against it, that it's, it's like a booze cruise was one thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen any evidence of that. Personally, I haven't seen any people really drunk or groups of people acting leery. The wine was undrinkable. I disagree with that comment, you know, it is drinkable. Uh, the Prosecco was the better wine, I think. Yeah. Um, you know, but that's just my taste. You may feel differently, but I think you would be able to find a wine that you do like on the included package. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we found that, yeah, the Prosecco is really consistent if yeah. you order that. You can't get it in the buffet. The wines that you get in the buffet on yeah. the on the pools are of inferior quality yeah. to the ones that you get in the main dining room. So that's another mm -hmm. reason we'd probably say to eat in the main dining room. Yeah. People also said that uh, there was a problem getting drinks at the bar and they had to wait. Mm -hmm. We haven't experienced that either. The ship is at full capacity yeah. and the longest we've had to wait is probably five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. And that's only been once or twice, hasn't yeah. it? You know, in general, we've been able to get a drink really easily and a top tip for you would be, you know, there are plenty of bars on board and the atrium is always quite busy, but, you yeah. know, the live lounge next door is fairly quiet a lot of the time, as is bar 11 upstairs, you get served very quickly. And um, also, you know, the drinks package, we didn't purchase the drinks package. I'm really glad we didn't because I enjoyed the included drinks more than the premium drink. Yeah, we'll show you now what, the, uh, again, what the included cocktails are and then what the premium cocktails are. We'll bring up those lists. And I think just have a look and see if there's drinks on there that you would like. I mean, the the cask ales are John Smith's for beer, there's Foster's for lager, and there's Strongbow for your cider. And the bottled lagers that you can get are Biramaretti, Peroni, uh, San Miguel. Uh, there is Guinness available, that's in cans. There is Heineken Zero, which we found was available. Mm -hmm. So one of the things was that there was no no alcohol beer uh, on board. We it haven't is. found that to be the case. Mm -hmm. There's Tubor, which is in cans, very often that's uh, available in the theatre as you go in. Served on ice, there is Sol as well, and Red Stripe is available in the Caribbean sailings. So there is plenty of choice yeah, on the included plenty. ones. Premium one is, is Heineken, which you'd have to pay £3.95 for a bottle of Heineken. It doesn't really make sense, because to me, you know, that's, that's a cooking lager. And, I'm not quite sure why yeah. that's on the premium menu. I mean, also so, on, on premium, you can get the coffees at the coffee port, can't you? And yeah. cans of soda and water. Yeah. But again, to be honest, you know, I have to say the coffee isn't brilliant on here, the included coffee. But if you can live without coffee for a couple of weeks yeah. or just pay as you go, that's probably and better it, value if you yeah. just want coffee. And certainly for the included water that's part of the premium package, there are drinks fountains, yeah. uh, water fountains available on every sort of deck. floor, on every deck. And we just refill our mm. water bottles from there. And that's fine, it saves yeah. on plastic waste and you know we feel we're doing our bit for the environment. In conclusion, it wasn't necessary to have the premium drinks package which would have cost an extra £180, which is, what's that, about £15 a day, something yeah, like that? Yeah, we, you know, we've saved that and that goes towards our next holiday. Yeah, well, that's £360, yeah. isn't it, between the two of us, because yeah. you have to have it as a cabin. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, that's a big saving. So, yeah, think, think about, you know, your needs yeah. and, and, and what your budget yeah. is. If you're someone who likes their premium whiskies, premium drinks, and that's really important to you on holiday, then that's fine, go for it. We found that we're out most of the day on trips and excursions. We'll get back in the evening, we'll get dressed and changed. Um, we'll be up early the following day. We've not, got, we've not had that much time to spend drinking. <laughs> <laughs> we've, done, we've done our best.
I hope you know that we've given you some you know good information here and if you've liked our blog please give us a like and drop us a comment and subscribe because that just means we can get our content out to more people yeah. until Thanks. next time take care thanks, thanks. for watching bye